Marshall built this big box on the back of the catamaran, and his plan was to add a couple of big outboards here. And it wasn't that bad of a plan. I'm going to add a big outboard, and also the outboard Trevor used to drive down here with. And that'll be sort of a backup motor. And there's probably room for a third motor that could maybe be an electric one at some point. So I'm just grinding the rest of the plywood down to get it even with the, the wood here. And I'm using a router to round the edge over. Because I'm going to lay fiberglass over this. And fiberglass doesn't like to go around a right angle corner. So routering a, a round edge makes it easier. So this is just being sanded and basically prepped for fiberglass at this point. Yeah, I, I do a little bit of work on the sugar scoop and like you sand the whole boat. And that's, that's how we go. Hey, it seems to work. They all came together at the right three times. Almost. Apparently, yeah. The other two's 20 bucks. <laughs> so the guy snatched it from him and said, I'll take that for 20 bucks you owe me. Then the other one turned around and took it from, from that guy because he owed him 20 bucks. They had a lot of money. And it just went round and round. Nobody, nobody actually, everybody got paid but nobody had no money. At some point, I kind of lose track of how much glass I lay on here, but I want a lot because it's going to hold the motor, and there was bare wood in some places here. Just seeing what you're doing. The white looks a lot better. Filled in all the cracks, you know? And that's dog. That's Rich's dog. A lot of this is bare wood still. So I'm just going to cover everything with glass and then roll gel coat over. I was planning on like grinding this and do and tabbing this in today, but I see a lot of 1708 here. Mm -hmm. I think they tabbed this in pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I might put some here. But yeah, as far as whole, uh, and then a whole bunch will go over the back and then over the back of this. This seems like a lot of fiberglassing, but actually 90% plus has been edited out because the rest of it, I'm blocking the camera's view of what's happening. This is a special mix. I'm mixing up resin, the hardener, and then I'm going to add a bunch of chopped glass fibers. These are all about a quarter inch long. 
and I'm adding kind of a lot and there's this area here that was going to be a big void and I wanted to fill that in before fiberglassing. the routine of doing something sanding and then wiping down with acetone gets pretty redundant. Oh yeah, this is fairing compound. I, there was a little bubble in the glass that I sanded out and filled. Repeat. That looks really good. Work, yeah, man, that's why I quit and left it for you. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. cutting wheels and the There's, and then there's some there. cutting wheels right here. I'm running the glass over the back of the transom as well to help hold the box on the boat better. And once that's done and it's sanded and cleaned a final time, then I can roll on gel coat. And there'll be a couple of layers like this that's um, just regular gel coat and hardener, and then a final layer will have wax in it to make it fully hardened. And that's what it looks like.